Today we have a big one, and this one is about mode brains, as the title would suggest. The uh, request comes from Photospector and Grit from the Discord, and the information, however, doesn't come from me. I'm putting it into a video format, but the information that you're about to learn comes from Doot or Doot Not. So yeah, I have to give them the full credit and a uh, big shout out to helping me figure this out, as there was a glitch that I also found, but we worked together. And he kind of confirmed that, yeah, that's it was probably the glitch going on. Um, the script, the mode brain is a little different from a script. It's 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 not a script brain, so uh, it's good to cover all the bases. I'm going to describe it and everything in steps. So without much else, let's get right into getting you a mode brain set up. So before we begin, I want to talk about the mode brain itself for just a moment to kind of clear the air on what it is and all that good stuff and to give a description on a few things because it's not really talked about all that much and I want to make sure that we're all on the same page of what we're working with here. So uh, let's kick it off. The mode brain is a uh, orange colored script brain shaped object that has a lower resolution for whatever reason. A little fun fact, the closer you get, the higher resolution it gets for whatever reason. It looks kind of like a test object from uh, like Team Fortress 2 or something. Anyway, you can find this down here in gameplay and the scripting category. It's at the very top and it's called a mode brain for if you didn't already know. An object that contains mode specific node graph logic. It's invisible in-game. Create a forge mode by grouping multiple mode brains into a mode prefab and saving it as a forge mode. Well, that description f***ing sucks. So, I don't know what they were thinking when they made that, but that didn't tell us anything. That told us absolutely nothing. There was nothing, no useful information in that description. For most of us out here, you know, just, you know, forging like normal people, I guess. Um, but, uh, like, the, I can't believe they, they proofread that, slapped it on there. It's like, yep, this bad boy's the right one. Send it. And, well, I, I enough complaining. <laughs> so, now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's talk about the, you know, similarities between these two. A script brain and a mode brain. I know in the intro, I did say that they are different objects, and they are, but they also have similarities if you couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, other than their looks, um, you can enter a mode brain's node graph by holding Y after selecting it, just like anything else. You can add nodes, all that good stuff. Um, and it works just like the same way that you would in a script brain. It works as your map script brain too. So like if you had a bunch of these sitting around and your script worked and you saved your map, then it would work just like a script brain would and you're thinking okay well then if it does all this then what is the point of having a mode brain or a script brain or you know whichever one because they're the same thing but that's pretty much where the similarities end the rest of these are what makes them different uh, a script brain uh, to make it short is designed to only function on one map that it exists on it cannot function on any other map outside the one that it's placed on and saved on you can duplicate it by pre putting it in a prefab and loading it and pasting it into another map. Um, but unless you, you have to go all the way to forge mode to do that, all that good stuff. So um, other than that, it cannot actually function outside of the map that it exists on unless you copy it, which then would be just a new copy, not the actual mode brain or script brain over here in this map itself. What makes the mode brain different is it's designed to work on all maps everywhere future maps that haven't been created yet and all that good stuff uh, because by the end of the day when we're done with this this will actually become a game mode you can select in the game mode settings and you know all game modes can be selected while selecting any map in the game as well they may not function correctly due to the maps missing certain things but you can load every game mode onto any map so that's what the mode brain is for it's designed to work on all maps so with that out of the way, um, there are a couple things you can't do with the mode brain. Uh, one of those is you cannot put it into a prefab with any other object. It is not allowed to be put into a, a prefab with any object and there's a reason for that because I said that there are no other object but I don't consider a second uh, mode brain as a completely different object. It's the same type of object. It can only be put into a prefab with another mode brain. It cannot be put into a prefab with anything else, whereas the script brain can be put into a prefab with anything else. 
And notice that it says create prefab, create a prefab from the selected objects. That's cool. However, it will change when we get to this and the prefab is actually a required step, but we'll get to that when we're ready. So this next step is me just going to set up the uh, script brain or the mode brain itself and put some nodes in there. Um, the reason why you would make a node brain is to fine tune a game mode that you want to create. Let's say you have a really cool game mode in mind. Like, I don't know. I'm just going to throw this out here like Fiesta, but you don't want all of the guns in the weapon pool. You don't want it to just pull from all the random weapons or all the random campaign weapons or anything like that. You only want it to give a random three weapons. And you want this game mode to be able to be played on any map. You don't want to have to go into forge mode and paste your script brain that gives these people these three random weapons on every single map that you want to play it on. You don't want to do that, right? You can't change that in game mode settings. However, when you set up a mode brain, it becomes, I would like not hard coded. It's just invisibly coded, I guess, into the game mode. So now you can do that on all your other maps. So with me, I did do a couple of those things in here. Mine's a little different. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste the script. Um, when a player spawns, they are given uh, a weapon, a weapon type, and a uh, trait, a trait set. Yeah, there we go. Um, and you can't give people weapon combinations in the game mode settings in the main menu. However, in a mode brain, you can. And... You can't give them uh, overshield VFX. You can give them overshield, I think, in game mode settings, but you can't give them the v, the, the VFX in, uh, in that. There's so many other things you can do in the in, with your nodes that you can't do in game mode settings, but this is just some examples. Third person you can turn on, but I just threw that out there to show that it's working. So that's, that's all it does. So it's a very small script. You don't have to have a massive script or anything, but if you do, no worries, because you can use as many mode brains as, as, as you want. However, now that we're getting to this point, and I have this ready, we do need to uh, have a second mode brain. I'm going to go into this and clear this out. The reason why we need a second mode brain is because of the way that the uh, saving of a mode brain works. In order to save a mode brain, to make it function correctly, it has to have a second mode brain in the prefab. It has to be, it has to be a prefab. That's how you save it and make it function correctly. So in order to do that, that means it requires a second mode brain. You can just duplicate the one you have and then make it empty because you don't need anything in the second mode brain. It just has to exist so that way a prefab can be created. So if you have a tiny script, don't worry about it. Just put a second mode brain out here, create a prefab, you're safe. If you have a big script, uh, make some stuff in here, make some stuff in here, make some stuff in another mode brain and keep it going if you need to. Uh, before we move on, there is one thing I do need to cover that uh, is very important. It's something you uh, physically cannot do. You cannot add object references into a mode brain. You do not have the option to. You could even go into the... Uh, what is it? Variables basic? Yeah, variables basic has the option to just put a blank object reference in and then select it from the object list. But even in here, you can't select it because you cannot put object references in a mode brain. This is uh, because they don't want to make uh, run into any issues because if this is available on all maps, if you reference an object in this map, it more than likely won't exist and give your script an error and it will break the game mode and we don't want that and well the game developers didn't want that either <laughs> so to be fair that is fine and that's why that's why you can't do that so that's something to keep in mind as well there is a way around it technically um but it would basically just be for the maps that you create because you would have to set it up yourself personally to be made where all objects have a label you can use the node get objects by label and then it would technically reference any object that has that label and it would basically only work on maps that you create though because it might break on another person's map who has objects with that same label but aren't meant to be uh, affected so now that we got that covered let's go ahead and merge these two into a prefab so hold x for console I'm not sure what it is for pc and notice the prompt for creating prefab has now changed Create mode prefab. Create a mode prefab from the selected mode brains. That's because it's a specific type of prefab. 
there are a couple settings we need to change now. Uh, so once you have it in a prefab, go to your object properties. Um, name it something you'll remember. In my case, I'm just gonna name it third person uh, SMG shoddy. <laughs> really dumb name, but it's very easily found. So that way we know what we're dealing with. This right here is important. I'm gonna start talking about the bug first, then we'll talk about the mode variant itself. So there is a bug that will make this still not work. You will not see it in your game modes, you will not see it in my files, and you will not see it in prefabs or the modes um, selection to find anything. You will not find it because it won't save it properly. Uh, this is due to what I believe is a bug based on uh, or similar to a lot of nodes out there. Here, I'll show you an example. Okay, see, right now we have a declare boolean variable. We're gonna go into the object properties and the identifier is empty. That's, um, it's, it's empty and it's fine. Um, scope says empty. It also reflects empty on the actual physical node out there on the graph itself. This is where the problem comes in. You notice that in the object property or the node properties, it says the initial value is false. However, on the actual node, we see that that's not true. It is set to empty, which is a null value. It's different from false and true. It's different from both of those. But even though it says it in the node properties, it's not actually false. So what I always have to do, and which everyone has had to do, is switch that. You flick it to true and back to false, and now notice we cannot get back to empty. Now it only goes to true or false. And now it is truly reflecting false. So the reason why I bring this up is because I believe that the uh, this follows the same problem. When you see the mode variant here, it is default to Arena CTF. However, I believe, and like I said in the intro, um, do or do not also agree that that is likely the problem, that it is technically an empty value. So it's a null property and therefore it breaks. So in order to fix this, just if you are using Arena CTF, make sure not to leave it there. Uh, select something else, then select back at Ser Arena CTF. And then it should fix the problem because everything else has worked fine since. In my case, I'm going to use minigame, but if you couldn't tell, which you can uh, by looking here, all of these different game modes are selectable and it's best to probably find the game mode closely matching what you would be doing with your game mode. Just to make it more streamlined and easier on yourself. In my case, I'm just going to use minigame and, and it works. But that is the last thing we have to do with any of our settings here. And now comes the saving. So we need to go ahead and uh, hold X again, uh, if you're on console. And now it says save mode prefab. Save the selected prefab to my files. Save the selected mode prefab as a forge mode to my files. If saving a pre-existing forge mode, a new version of the forge mode will be created. I'm unsure as to why they repeated the first two lines, just adding more detail in the second line but basically if saving a pre-existing mode it'll just create a new version same way that if you update a map on forge mode it goes from v1 to v2 i'm pretty sure that it does the exact same thing as long as it's named the same then it will uh update it similar to a game mode or map being edited and saved and creating a v2 and v3 and so on so let's go ahead and save that i'm going to name it the same thing that i named the prefab which i'm not sure if you have to but i'm going to There we go. Third person, SMG shoddy. Mode saved successfully. Now, when we go to our prefabs, oops, it glitched on me. That's weird. These are not prefabs. Well, regardless, you're not going to find it in prefabs. You are not gonna find it there. You are actually going to find it in the modes category, which is also now broken. Strange. There we go. So there we go. Now, see, yeah, my prefabs, it does not show it. Um, here's a lot of my previous videos. Um, so mine has a three in it. It's not up here at the top because it is a prefab and it's saved, but it doesn't save here since it is a mode, which is a special type of prefab. You'll find that in the modes category. And that is where you can spawn your mode, um, degroup it or ungroup it, edit your script, do whatever you need to to it, group it back together, and then of course, name it the exact same thing and it will update your game mode. But that's all we have to do in forge mode. 
um, and now we can go on to custom games and try this out on just a couple maps uh, to make sure that this works out. Okay, so now I'm back in the custom games in the main menu and we're gonna go to the mode editor. Let's see, uh, we got the default Arena Slayer. Let's go to my files. And there it is. This is our game mode that we saved in Forge mode. And everything is kind of just not changed on the actual game mode settings. Um, so we can set up bots. I'm gonna set up a two or three bots, I guess, uh, just to mess around with. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to do here. And I'm gonna play it first on Bazaar. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, see if this thing worked. Okay, so it looks like it's working so far. We have the uh, Avenger, we have the Overshield VFX, um, and we're a third person. So everything looks like it's working just fine. Let's go over here, see if our guy spawned. Yes, they did. Oh my god, this is so hard to play. I feel like I'm, I'm playing. Oh my god! Okay, so anyway, um, that's about it. That is how you set up a mode brain and use it effectively, which, believe it or not, is quite effective. I believe this one will really help people on getting their general mode set up um, to where they don't have to just copy and paste their script brain on every map they create. So, all right. And there it is. And hopefully that. You know settles any of your troubles with the mode brain kind of gets it fleshed out you kind of know what you're dealing with and it's not as complicated as i had originally thought i mean i avoided the mode brains for like months now i did not want to touch it didn't want to get anywhere near it because that it, I, it was intimidating due to the fact that it was just so weird didn't make sense nobody really knew anything about it whenever i was trying to look into it so with that out of the way i'm glad that juggernaut's done and we can move on so, uh, we're going to, we're going to go to the next video and, uh, I'll see you guys there. How do you fucking, hold on. How do you fly this damn thing? I, I've never been able to, and I just, <laughs>